Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 140. I'm Ryan Fogmartin. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison, and this could be the funniest Funeral Nation episode of all time. You know, uh, the guests that we'll have on a little later, you cannot help yourself but think vaudeville and intellect at the same time. I don't know how that works, but uh, anyway, it's going to be fun. Oh. As Howard here, and we need some power, especially where you are. That's I was right. uh, show Jamie and C and J. You know, I say this every week, but I mean it. The funeral's not over till you get paid. So if you're waiting on your money more than a couple of days, you're wrong. It's your money. Get it. Jamie, tell them how this works. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With CJ Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose CJ for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend CJ to their clients and members. All right, Commander. So. <laughs> I'm experiencing things that you won't get to experience in, in Phoenix, uh, in the Scottsdale area. And, uh, it's cold. It's like zero degrees today. It was negative four yesterday morning on my way to the gym. So it's, uh, very cold and it's hitting a large percentage of our audience has dealt with some winter storms and it's created a lot of havoc for, you know, the funeral profession in general, whether it's the funeral home or the supplier setting up gravesides and the cemetery and delivery of caskets, all, all good stuff. Yeah, you think about families traveling. I mean, it, we're in a cold snap here too. It's yeah. uh, 65 degrees today, yeah. so I had to put on a Tommy Bahama sweater. You know, uh, it, everything has gone crazy. I mean, even, even the mermaids at the pool, right, are wearing jackets here today. So... It, it's pretty tough when you have that sort of activity. Oh, boy. But you're right. I think that uh, on our audience, everybody watching, hey, y'all out there, stay warm. But how about send us some pictures or some examples of how just how bad is it in the funeral business that you're having to deal with uh, serving families, whether That's it's right. at the great side or uh, your car snowed in or what your funeral home looks like. Send them some pics, and we'll send you out some swag. That's right. Deal. Best one gets good swag. So uh, you can tag us on Facebook, send them to us through Facebook Messenger, send them to Jeff and I personally, however you want to get them to us, but we'll share them and then we'll let people vote and whoever has the craziest photo will we'll win. And it's, I've seen some good ones online of just digging out around a, a grave just to be able to set up chairs and to get the family to be able to walk to the grave. So good stuff out there. But... Yeah. That is the length that funeral directors have to go to to be able to serve families. I mean, it, it death does not wait for the weather. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of profound, Ryan. You, you know, think I was so? going to say something like a guy named Ed could write his name in the snow quicker. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you could. You know, I'm not a cold weather guy. I'm freezing to death, like uh, I'm not going to say. But anyway, it's, it's cold. So before we start our interview segment, uh, let's talk about some guys that aren't far from you either. The Kraken boys, right? Kraken has been a phenomenal uh, new piece of technology with with their do what they're doing with their whiteboard, and also uh, I'm privy to what they're doing on the accounting backside. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like it, you know. There, if you just want to do cases and maybe do some reach out to families. Um, they have that. It's sort of like us doing accounting if you want a PL and a balance sheet. 
is so much more to it. So yeah. let's run the uh, Kraken ad. Quick and accurate communication is essential when dealing with families. Consider how your team communicates today with families. Post-it notes, while you are out slips, phone calls, emails, texts, who gets them, who keeps them, who knows the family dynamics. With Kraken, your team can receive and respond to contacts and inquiries anytime, anywhere, and on any device. They can enter relationships, sync with your answering service, make notes, and forward to colleagues. They can also sort contacts and inquiries by name, loved one, or contact information. Not only that, but you can always see what funeral home team member communicated with the family. Need more speed? Just a couple of keystrokes is all it takes to find someone. Our family feedback surveys, which are free and unlimited, are also assigned through your contacts. Kraken keeps all your contacts organized and retained in a secure database forever. No matter a family's generation, you'll have a history of all your interactions with them. Your team can access that information whenever they need it, but they can't download it, which is peace of mind that your info stays with your business. Tips like these can help you free up your time so you can spend more time with your families. Learn more about Kraken at kraken.net. Let's get Kraken. All right, Ryan, uh, This we should have a drum roll. Uh, we're going to have two of the icons of the business. It's sort of like the Rat Pack. Uh, we'll have to figure out who the third one is in here, but these two are absolutely uh, fun, not only to work with, but uh, they're well-respected. So we have Dana Sard and Doug Gober that will be joining us. Let's roll that interview. All right. Well, today we are blessed to have the presence of Mr. Dan Azard and Doug Gober of the Foresight Companies. Yeah, and we call them the double Ds here. <laughs> hey, Ryan, I'm curious. How cold is it in Zanesville today? Uh, very cold. It was uh, zero this morning. Uh, on yeah, my I understand. In. It's so cold you're actually wearing long pants today. I am wearing long pants. They still have holes in them, though. And I do have long sleeves on. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so it's even cold enough in Phoenix that that Dan has his hands in his own pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh boy! You know what? Uh, a lot of the listeners have no idea about slapstick and vaudeville, but if you want to look it up, you could just watch this show because it's coming on here permanently. <laughs> <laughs> and look, we're uh, we're blessed to have you two on the show. You've been icons in the business collectively for over 60 years. And uh, there's some great stuff going on coming up that you wanted to share with us about uh, seminars for the Foresight Company. So, Dan, why don't we start with you? Yeah, you know, guys, it, it's crazy. We want to be a profession and we want to be respected as a profession. And, and funeral directors throughout the country battle with the idea of what a professional really is. Well, a professional obviously is someone who has to keep their knowledge up to date. <clears throat> and in the month of March, we've coupled three seminars back to back. So that way we can try to appeal to as many of your listeners as want to come out to uh, Phoenix, Scottsdale area. Uh, we have one seminar called Cemetery Impossible. It's two fun-filled days, but it's chock-filled with data, knowledge, and learning how to make a cemetery be as profitable as possible. Our funeral boot camp we've been doing now for more than a decade and it is absolutely the most powerful three days you could have. It's like getting an MBA in funeral operations in three days. Before you come out, you spend about two or three hours filling in your data into an Excel worksheet. Then over the course of three days, we go through about 15 main subjects. First, we lecture on it. Then we look at your numbers to see how you're doing. And then we compare you to other members of the audience, none of whom are your competitors. And then you get to see what really happens. And the third seminar that we have uh, coming out in the middle of March is absolutely the most critical seminar of all, but it has a very narrow audience. It's our human resources seminar. You can't run a funeral home without people. And to manage people today, you have to start with a good job description, employee management tools, 
procedures, manuals, reviews, and know how to do them without getting in trouble. It's interesting because it's uh, in our business now, Ryan and I have talked about this. It seems to be seminar palooza. And we're talking about subject matter uh, from some of these seminars that are simply uh, not conducive to making a business better. It's more fluff for CEUs. Uh, you get CEUs, I understand this conference, isn't that correct, Dan? You do, but they're on the national level from the academy. Okay. Hey, so, Ryan, do you know it's so cold that I saw on the Wall Street Journal that Bill Clinton actually slept with Hillary? Oh, no. Okay. So, I, 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 land, <laughs> that, oh, I feel better about the stuff I say sometimes. That's and right. That's, all right, let me get us back on track. A, a, a professional is someone who has adopted a systematic, organized, codified body of knowledge and combined it with experience and technique. And so we're, we're addressing all of those issues in these, in these meetings. Our objective is to not only to determine where the client is, where our attendee is in their circumstance, but also to let them know what the, the systematic, organized, codified body of knowledge is and what the, uh, you know, the mo the best practice uh, of those items is that's going on in the business today. And so I think that is the objective of all of these sessions uh, with those specific uh, ideas in mind, depending on the direction of that specific uh, meeting. And so we, we're very excited about this opportunity and I do agree with Jeff that because I'm involved in a number of them, that the uh, uh, seminar Palooza is uh, is is out there and uh, it's it's difficult. Yeah. So we, we're encouraging everyone to not only just to sign up to get CEUs to any meeting, regardless of whether it's these or in Phoenix or others, but to really evaluate where you're spending your time for your specific business needs. And, and are we addressing uh, you know, are you going just to get the CEUs or are you really going to get something you can use? That's correct. And you know, I, I was in a, a booty if you will, uh, prior about three and a half years ago. And I can tell you it made a significant difference in the funeral home uh, that I was involved with at the time. Dan, one of the unique things about these seminars is you just don't come, you don't participate, you don't not go home without a toolbox but there's follow-up for six months, correct? Yeah, when someone comes to any of these workshops, they're leaving with a written business plan that they're constructing on each of the points that we deal with. So when they leave the seminar, they have a written business plan, but right before they leave, they email it to us. And our responsibility to the attendees is to work with them for the next six months, putting these business plan points into action. It's very difficult. I can tell you, it's very difficult to find what Dan just described nationally. You, you rarely leave a CEU event, uh, what, even if it's at a national convention or one of the, the, the big places where CEUs are available, rarely do you leave with something you can immediately go home and implement. And that's what CEU really should be about. It's, it's that ability to take the knowledge you've gained and do something with it. Right. And you know what I th find fascinating is the star power for these seminars. Dan, you want to review who's on the docket to speak and present? Yeah, we're, we're, we're really blessed. Obviously, when Doug and I came together uh, last year, uh, it basically added another level to allow both of us to be able to influence and motivate the audiences at, at these events. Jeff, with you there, uh, it, it's a whole nother dynamic. Uh, Stephanie Ramsey, who does our HR, is, is probably the top HR mind on funeral and cemetery operations in the country. <clears throat> so it's really a real-time event. It's not just self-promotion, it is self-education, and that's critical. Hey, Ryan. Yes, sir. I understand it's so cold in Zanesville. <laughs> Come on, son. Come uh, on. It, it, it is freezing, yes. 
It, it is so cold in Zanesville. People in Zanesville are looking forward to getting a fever. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> It's so it's very cold. Yes, you're right. It's it's cold. It's How zero. How cold is it? Can you you have a little bit of a flavor of what goes on when the office is full with this, right? I mean, it's wow. uh, incredible. Dan, yeah, I, Jeff gets the opportunity to get as many words in as edgewise as Ryan has in this call so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually just shaking my head. My vertigo kicks in. I can't pay attention to what they're talking about. Anyhow, it's just too much up there. Well, Dan, uh, let's go back over these dates. I have here that March 7th and 8th is Cemetery Impossible uh, here in Phoenix. Uh, the following Monday was March 11th through the 13th is the uh, Kindle Financial Boot Camp at the Scottsdale Resort over in Scottsdale, which is a really nice place. Yeah, it's a, it's a fabulous resort if anybody's ever looking to get away in, in the Phoenix Scottsdale Metroplex. And it happens to be right around the uh, corner from a couple of uh, preseason uh, uh, spring ballparks. So uh, take in some Con Ed, uh, get some good education, and then spend the excess money by buying spring season tickets. And it's a it is a beautiful time of the year to be in Phoenix. Right. And we finish up the week with the human resources spring training. And that's uh, actually Thursday and Friday. So uh, if you're interested in attending any of these, we'll put up the email address, which is, or excuse me, the website address, which is the foresightcompanies.com. Uh, I can tell you it will turn your business around. Uh, we have so many people who have attended that came in and said that it, it literally changed the direction of their profitability and their operational tempo at their funeral homes. All right, Dan, we're going to wrap up. Anything you want to finalize here as we uh, finish up this episode? No, I've got two last cold jokes that I've been told I can't tell. Good. Stephanie is really good at what she does. All well, right. We're, uh, not only are we happy to have Stephanie nationally, we're happy to have Stephanie internally just to keep a, a muzzle on uh, the leadership of the organization. Amen. Amen. Again, that uh, eco boost uh, is, is a turbo booster. Incredible. Doug, we're going to finish up. Uh, anything you'd like to share before we uh, move to the next segment? It's we're turning, we're coming into a busy time of the year and I'm excited about uh, being involved, not only in these meetings, but some of the other national meetings that you'll see us attending as a group. And we're really excited about 2019 and want you to be the best you can be in your particular place on this planet. And we're excited to be uh, available to help you do that. Right. In fact, Doug, you're headed out to Vegas, uh, not Tomorrow. to be the girl that you've always wanted, to, but to actually present uh, at ICCFA. Is that right? Yeah, I've already done number one. And number two is to be with the ICCFA sales and marketing meeting uh, the next three days. I'm very excited about being there, not only participating in the program, but I'm on the committee that put it together. We're taking a very unique approach to that meeting. And uh I think it's going to be uh, not only well attended, but well received. It's a pretty exciting, fast moving program. We're excited about it. And I'm excited to be a part of it. Good. Well, I think if you want to look up Doug when he was in Vegas, you can uh, take a look up Southern Red Flame and it'll show up in Google of his prior uh, act there. Anyway, guys, it's always a pleasure working with you. I know Ryan enjoys having you on. Sure do. And, uh, we look forward to seeing all of us together, I think, at ICCFA the next go around, correct? Yes, sir. All right. April. Thank you guys for coming on. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> I, I have no idea how the three of you exist in the same building for an extended period of time. I, uh, I don't know. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we had extra doors and windows and everything made so all the egos can get into one spot in here. That's unbelievable. All I have I have a cigar and they take off. So that's a good thing. That's how I keep them away from it. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's cool. I, you know, I, I get to work with some of the funeral homes that are clients of yours as well, that go to the seminars and, and go to your boot camps that walk away with stuff that is extremely, extremely valuable and a different perspective and lens of, of how to look at their business and the success that they're having or not having. So um, very cool. And those are all taking place. What are the dates again? In March? Uh, Basically, we uh, March 7th and 8th for Cemetery Impossible, March 11th and 13th for Boot Camp, and 
Human Resources 1415. I'll Perfect. do this for our funeral nation. The first two to sign up for boot camp, I'll give a uh, $200 discount. Hey. So, okay. All right. Off the uh, registration. Fee. Nice. Very so good. Reaching out. We got to talk about our ring ring, right? Yeah. Our function hall. Uh, all this internet, all the work. We talk about this in the, the workshops. But if you're not anywhere on the Google search, you're not anywhere. So uh, let's roll his promo. We're Ring Ring Marketing. We help funeral homes generate at least 10 more at need calls per month. Our techniques help you dominate local search rankings and become the top choice for services in your area. We also proudly offer a 100% money back guarantee. For a free copy of our book, visit www.funeralhomeprofits.com. Good stuff, Commander. All right. Well, that wraps up episode 140. We will be on to 141 next week because that's what comes after 140. So, it you know, 141 is a big episode. We've never done an episode 141 before. We have not, and your analytics are astounding. <laughs> Thank you. I start getting the, the meerkat look, you know, when you start talking about it. But anyway, all right, buddy. Thank you. Great show. Y'all stay warm up there. Thank you. And don't forget. Folks, send us some pictures out here. We want to send some swag out. Show us how tough it is. Or show us your snowman. Whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. Till next week, have a great effing week. Out here.